Hi everybody, it's me, Teresa Perrin, and I want to discuss a BBBY with you and the filing that was received after hours because I find the price action very interesting to say the least. And some of the things in that filing I feel for long shareholders is actually very bullish. So the sell-off initially was immediately bought back up and they were actually up in after hours after it came out and then there was a massive short attack for a second time and I believe after the second short attack you may have had some selling but interestingly enough guys there's still no shares left to borrow so I have a funny feeling that market makers are using this opportunity um to create fear because in all actuality we're going to go through this filing real quick what i'm seeing and this is completely non-biased and i want you to tell me if i'm missing something because i'm really struggling to figure out why people are fearful of this because to me this is actually great news for bbby because many shorts are in this play on the thesis that they are going to file bankruptcy. And if indeed they get this funding, then that would at least for now take that off the table. And if the bullish trend this market's bending continues, then I think that puts shorts at a very, very high risk for BBBY. And I think that they're going to have to come to terms with accepting that maybe this is not the right play and close out their position because today we started to squeeze them. No joking aside, this was the start of something beautiful. It's on regulation show and I still believe there's a huge opportunity here and I'm not buying the price action. And please, I'm asking you to comment below your thoughts on what you're seeing and if they differ from mine because I'm very open-minded with this play, guys. I'm not married to either direction. You know, I was playing calls on it, but they're they're post-dated. They're not from this week, so I'm not really worried about that at all. Um, and in fact, I bought them on gains from Carvana that I said, ooh, I see this moving. I'm going to jump in it. So you know what? It is what it is either way for me. But my whole thing here is what I'm reading tells me a different story than what the price action is showing me. So let's discuss that. And I want to hear your thoughts, please. Please remember, nothing I say is financial advice. Always do your own DD and smash that like button for me. I would really appreciate it. All right. Let me start out by saying that this is just a proposed public offering. So that's even funnier, guys, because this isn't even the official public offering yet. They're just talking about this as an option. And in hidden in there, just so that everyone's aware, they did disclose that they are now fully NASDAQ compliant. So everyone should be aware of that. That is very bullish as well. But here's the important part here. It, it says that, this offering would potentially mean that they would have the funds to pay the debt that they had not previously paid in that this offering would allow them to make that payment so they're no longer in default, guys, hence avoiding the bankruptcy and or filing for bankruptcy, at least for now. I believe that this gives them a longer period of time to restructure, figure out what they're going to do with Bye Bye Baby, because let's face it, that's the most valuable asset, in my opinion, that Bed Bath & Beyond has, and I'm sure many of you would agree with that statement. But all in all, I find this filing as bullish, because if you ask the shorts why they're in this play, most of them are going to tell you it's a dying business, and that the risk of bankruptcy. Well, if you take that off the table for now and your cost to borrow is extremely high, then you have to ask, is it worth it? Especially if longs come into this play hard and squeeze it. So I guess that's where I'm struggling. Let's take a look at what traded today because this is after hours. And yes, this is a crappy Robin Hood chart for this picture, guys. But 
the key that I want to show you is look at this very long green wick. This is after hours when you got this offering and it immediately dropped all the way down, came back up and even went above the closing price. And then you proceeded to see these candlesticks that are clearly a short attack sell off. And I don't believe that this was retail selling out of their position, although some of it are arguably most likely is some, but I believe that it's more likely a short attack in the after hours that is creating this. And then you start to see it move to the upside and then just consolidate, pulls back down, you get this hammer and now it's starting to move up. But as of the time that I took this picture, it was still down 34% in the after hours. And that's interesting. Now, at the time where they filed the paperwork for the offering, the price was 305. So maybe it's something correlated to that. But again, this is just a potential of an offering. And I believe if they do the offering, then that's huge for BBBY long term because they need the funds. And that was their biggest holdback. And that takes, again, the short thesis, or at least what I believe shorts are looking at off the table here. And look at this. BBBY is number one now on the popularity list on Weeble. It's clearly trending. I don't think the play is over. And again, I'm not marrying the direction, but I don't think it's anywhere near done. And I'm trying to really understand what people are thinking or whether this is just market makers playing games after hours. And I'm leaning towards it's market ma makers playing games after hours, but I want to know people's thoughts. I really do. Um, notice today the average volume, well, now they've upped it because of the tremendous amount of volume it received today. But guys, this was trending in the, in the 30s earlier today because I screenshotted it at 38 or 39 um, when it started moving today. But now the volume hit 271 million shares as of 6.50 p.m. And the float is only 115 million shares. So even if they did an offering, guys, guess what? That wouldn't even begin to cover the amount of shares that they allegedly had to naked short today or had to naked add to the float today because they clearly couldn't come up with those shares traded and I think everyone and their mother was buying this up as it was moving I mean at one time it was up like over four dollars on the day I believe and it even closed up 281 or 92.13 percent but this hit over seven dollars 703 to be precise so I'm intrigued I'm very intrigued right now and currently it's showing this is the reported short interest is 45.97%. So it's very heavily shorted. And we all know how easily it flew to $20. And I think that it's very likely this could happen again. Now, here's why I think that um, this is kind of an illusion. So you get that there were zero shares for much of today, right? Then suddenly 150,000 shares became available. Now, I firmly believe that somehow somebody always knows something. And I have a funny hunch that people get a heads up like that are in these huge hedge funds that a company does a filing and I'm not sure how they get it guys and again this is allegedly nobody wants to get sued again um or anything like that because I don't have any proof of it but I find it very interesting how quickly and I know there's readers and everything like that but a lot of times if you notice when a filing hits it's literally not even fast enough for a reader to scan through it when you see the immediate reaction of the drop right which we got today now suddenly 150,000 shares become available could that have been some retail selling absolutely well guys now and for several hours now after hours or at least a couple hours it's only you know a few hours after it happened but there's zero shares again yet the price continued to go down so were they holding shorts through the day and then have the opportunity to add to it plus the volumes low and after hours? That's what I tend to think. Now, again, that's my thoughts, guys. I'm curious to hear yours. Look at this, though. 
the cost to borrow right now is 219%. So it's pretty significant. That's if they can even find shares. And yes, I know, F3 override. We all know it exists. We all know there's naked shorting. We all know that there's a lot of things that shouldn't. Lord knows how many shares are really out of BBBY. But remember now, if they are actually going to stay in business and keep that, um, eventually they're going to have to cover those shorts, you would think, especially if the stock ends up squeezing, which could create a lot of power for those that are long in this play. Now, the short volume ratio is showing, guys, that for the past two weeks, it's been over 50% every single day, as high as 60%. And again, that's the short volume that's traded in the dark pool, which we all know the majority of shares of BBBY has gone for a very long time. Now, here's where things get really interesting to me. 4 million, 4.7 million shares on the last day that Fintel published this report were being shown as failure to delivers. I can only imagine if you add today's volume to that, what the true number actually is. Now, to me, it seems logical that something here is going to pop. And it's going to pop hard, in my opinion. I believe today was the start of it. I believe After Hours was a mere pullback due to an offering. I do believe if the shelf offering does come to light, like I said, that this is actually great for the company. And as an investor, if you guys watching this are not just trading this, if you're invested in this stock, then this is great news for you if this offering comes through. Now, when the offering comes out again, do they create another fake sell-off scenario or um, does retail sell out? Be prepared because yes, anything's possible and this has been played with and in my opinion, a lot of funny stuff has gone on in the stock for a very long time. So uh, expect the unexpected always. Don't be afraid to take your profits, guys. I can't be any clearer on that. Profit taking is always good, especially when you know the company needs money because a lot of these plays right now are going to squeeze or come close to a squeeze or have, you know, a controlled squeeze or go up hundreds of percent. In my opinion, guys, even if it's not an official like squeeze, like, you know, the Volkswagen type squeeze, it's still squeezing out shorts that's ultimately what it's doing just because you're not getting a massive like oh my god type squeeze doesn't mean that it's not squeezing shorts out and that's why these stocks are going up as many of percentages as they are because remember normal gains in a stock in any given year is between like 10 and on a great year 15 percent uh, on a crappy year, maybe 8%. So like, let's say between 8 and 15%. When you see a stock running 100, 200, 300% in a day or a week or a month, that's not normal. That's a controlled squeeze in my opinion. Um, and I expect to see a lot of that if this market stays bullish. Now, don't forget, we have Powell tomorrow. It's not something major, guys. There's a lot of people, you know, him and hawing about it. But it's not like a speech that should affect the market crazy. However, we all know that any opportunity to create fear or whatever happens. So if he says anything bullish, though, expect the market to go up. Look for the SPY to get, I would say, to break that 412 resistance. If it does, I think it's going to fly. Um, you know, if it dips below... Mm, I would say if it dips below 405, we're in trouble because it seems like that's where volume really came in when Powell spoke the last time. But as long as it maintains between there, guys, I think it's just a consolidation. And honestly, in my opinion, do I think we found a bottom yet? I'm not really sure about that. But for now, I've, I am leaning towards being more bullish than bearish. But again, a lot of stuff happened with China and all that who knows where that's going to lead. All it's going to take is for them to threaten war or something crazy and the stock market to plummet. So keep that in mind and just secure profits in the meantime, guys, especially on plays like this. Thank you for watching.